Hey guys. All right, so the video down below is from CNN, and they were recently um, interviewing a Hispanic Trump supporter who leads like a little uh, coalition to uh, rally support for Trump among the uh, Hispanic community. So they were interviewing interviewing him. They pushed out the same lie that they've been pushing out the last four years. I mean, they're really trying to adhere to the uh, Goebbels method where, you know, you keep repeating a, a, a lie just until it becomes truth. And a lot of people, unfortunately, believe the lie that Trump said that all Mexicans are rapists. Um, I mean, if you look at the video, his original announcement for running for president, he clearly didn't say that. He said that the people that are coming over the border are rapists, not Mexicans. All Mexicans are rapists. <laughs> and I think that was quickly debunked. I think that was kind of the... Um, first sign that CNN was going to be against Trump at all costs. Um, and it was, uh, it was quickly debunked, but at the same time, these people from CNN, they keep pushing that lie that Trump said that. Um, it's, it's pretty appalling. And like I said, I, I know people that watch CNN religiously. Um, my roommate, you know, he'll come home and he'll turn on CNN. Like, this is when there's, like, sporting events going on. It's like, dude, wouldn't you rather watch sports? Um, you know, we've got a great football game on. And no, I, I, I need to see the propaganda because Orange Man bad. And, and I'm a white guy, so white man bad. And, <laughs> and I really need to be plugged in the propaganda. Leave me alone, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, I, you know, I just, you know, let him be because, hey, you know, people need to come to this conclusion on their own that CNN really is fake news. And we've all, you know, looked at CNN and we've kind of uh, put out our own euphemisms for CNN, like Cuck News Network, when they put that story out about couples um, it possibly being very beneficial for them to involve a third person. <laughs> it shows, like, the um, the picture in the article, I think the article's still up, shows a girl with, like, um, holding hands with one dude and then, like, has her arm around another dude. It's, like, so fucking cringe. That's another one. Cringe News Network. Cancer News Network. I, I would say that's probably my favorite just because watching this, it's, like, you know, I feel like I'm getting brain cancer by watching this shit. It's like, it's so um, hard to watch, you know, because these people, these uh, seven-figure douchebags, they continuously put out the same type of propaganda, and they do it with such a, like, emotional um, uh, bend to it. Like, like, you know, they're talking about how, like, it, it just pick any topic and they'll come out and they'll really try and tug on the heartstrings of their viewers. And I'm not saying that um, Fox News doesn't do this because, of course, they do. I mean, remember what happened last year with the um, uh, with the uh, Squirrel Hill synagogue shooting and then even before with uh, Charlottesville? Like I was watching Fox News when uh, all that Charlottesville bullshit went down. I can't even imagine what the CNN coverage was like. But watching Fox News, it really felt like I was watching CNN because you had uh, Harris Faulkner come out and like just condemn Trump for his, um, you know, for his statement on Charlottesville, which was, there was nothing wrong with it at all. And of course, they tried to, um, and this was all three of the networks. They tried to. Um, rehash that old story that Trump is a white supremacist. Oh, we have a white supremacist, a white supremacist in the White House and all this bullshit. Um, and they're talking about, oh, you know, he d he didn't disavow David Duke. Even fucking Ben Shapiro was pushing this bullshit. Um, <laughs> and, and it's like, oh, give it a rest, guys, because I think most of us here in the alternative media, we look at these stories and we're like, okay, this is just CNN trying to you know push more fake news. But going back to the main story for a second, you know, CNN, they, uh, they're interviewing this Hispanic Trump supporter. I do want to make a couple of, I want to point a couple things out here. You know, number one, I'll already point this out, that they're talking about how Trump allegedly said that all Mexicans are rapists. This was four years ago. You know, they're really, really adhering to Joseph Goebbels' game plan. Keep repeating a lie until it becomes true. <gasps> Excuse me. Um... And number two, in the, in the uh, Hispanic Trump supporter, he's like, no, I don't think he said anything racist. Number two, I, wa I want to point this out because um, this guy kind of comes across as like a fiscal conservative. So he's talking about the wall, you know, projected cost for the wall is $125 billion. He was like, oh, yeah, if there's, a, if there's an opportunity for us to only spend $50 billion on the wall, then I'm all for it, you know. Um, I think they're putting words in his mouth because they said, oh, you know, um, he has his differences with Trump. And, you know, in uh, this example, he's talking about how building a, um, a border wall all across the U.S. border, U.S.-Mexican border, is not cost efficient. 
I, th- I don't think that's what he said. He was just talking about the actual cost. I think you, you probably ultimately need to build a border wall throughout most of the border. Um, I know there's going to be some areas like mountainous regions where that's obviously not possible. There's going to be a lot of uh, uh, private property that may need to be uh, annexed, so to speak, in order to um, complete construction there. And, and I, I want to talk about that for a second um, uh, after, you know, actually, I'll just talk about it right now. Um, uh, sorry, I get my thoughts troubled. No, um, so I think they're kind of putting words in his mouth. And I think, yeah, it's obviously a good thing to try and be more cost efficient. Um, but then I would point out to him, it's like, okay, um, $125 billion is peanuts compared to the um, costs that we're, um, the spending that we're putting into the military. And as, and as far as subsidies go, that's a whole other thing. But I want to talk about the border wall here for a second because... Um, What's going to happen is with the areas where um, after the wall is completely built, not on the uh, private property, um, private properties, collective private properties, what's going to happen is is that all the illegals are going to be coming through either the regions where the wall cannot physically be built or where the wall cannot legally be built on private property. So what's going to happen is um, eminent domain will become a factor, obviously, but these people that have this private property they're going to notice that the illegals are coming through their property because everywhere else has a border wall, but not there. So they're going to be coming through their um, property. So what's going to happen is I think that um, they will need to reach uh, basically a deal and say, okay, yeah, I, I'm tired of all these illegals coming through my private property. You built the wall on, on, on most of the border, but not on my property. I'm starting to think it's a good deal. You know, eminent domain. Yeah, throw me some money. And um Government will probably end up overpaying for sure. You know, for sure they always do that. You know, this government they always love spending money. It doesn't matter how much it costs. You're like trillion dollars. Let's just throw it out there. You know, um, it, it's pretty appalling, honestly. And even with the new, um, even with the new uh, uh, budget increases for the um, defense budget, it's like, dude, you know, give it a rest. There are some areas where we can cut back, and, and this is obviously a little above my head, but I'm just thinking. You know, I'm just thinking as a as a normal tax paying civilian. It's like you know we we do have um, a big spending problem. So I would agree with this uh, Hispanic Trump supporter that you know if we can find a way to be more cost efficient, then so be it. You know, let's do it. But yeah, anyways, uh, Cancer News Network, Cuck News Network, all this bullshit. You know, they're just they they really are on the losing side. Of history, I, I want to say this too. Like uh, as I close up here, CNN. The reason why they're losing to Fox News, and the same reason why MSNBC is losing to Fox News, is because of the fact that they constantly push the orange man bad, white man bad narrative. Now, if you think about it, most people that are watching the news are probably white, um, and they probably get tired of that. You know, hearing CNN talk about how oh, you know, white man bad. You know, they have like really just. Uh, uh, crazy people on like Simone Sanders who comes out and says, you know, everything that she says and Bakari Sellers and all these people. It's like, why would you want to watch that? Why would you want to watch this and get um, emotionally abused essentially through um, television propaganda? Like my poor roommate here, like uh, somebody that lives in the house next to me. It's like I, I go down there and it's like, you're watching CNN. I mean, like you really feel good about this. You feel good about getting, you know, shamed for your skin color oh okay (laughs) um but that's the reason why fox news is winning in the ratings i don't watch fox news i don't particularly like fox news i think tucker carlson he's good you know but there are better uh personalities here in the alternative media i think that tucker would actually do be very successful coming out um or leaving fox news i think he's going to outgrow them at some point i mean he has something to fall back on he's got the daily caller that's um his rag i think he co-owns it with somebody else but um, you know, if he were to come here on YouTube through the Daily Caller or through his own YouTube channel, he'd do pretty good. Yeah, he'd do pretty good. I mean, you look at Bill O'Reilly, it's like, you know, he's doing okay um, for his thing. And I'm just, I think his, his viewing demographic is a lot older, but Tucker Carlson, I think he really does um, have a very uh, younger demographic compared to Bill O'Reilly and all these people. Anyways, kind of rambling here, but yeah, CNN interviewing a Hispanic Trump supporter, completely backfires, you know, talking about how, oh, you know, uh, Donald Trump's, he said that all Mexicans are rapists, and uh, and he didn't say that, and the Hispanic Trump supporters said, oh, he didn't say that either, um, so why, why are you, you know, why are you lying to us? <laughs> because they want to push the white man bad, orange man bad propaganda, that's all they're going to do, that's all they can do, you know, it, it, what are they going to do, they're going to admit that they've been wrong for the last four years, 
you know, they're, they're never going to get, you know, uh, forgiven for that. They're going to get completely bombarded with criticism and they're not going to be able to come back. So they're, they're going in f- uh, 100%. They're not going to abandon the game plan. Like I said, with Joseph Goebbels, you got to keep repeating the lie until it becomes truth. And they're going to do that. They are going to do that until they're in the grave, essentially. All right. That's all I got. Guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. God bless. And I'll see you later.